In this video, I'm gonna showcase a smart money concepts indicator that produces lots of super profitable trades. If you saw the title of this video, it says, wait for chalk, enter at BOS. Well, the strategy we're gonna showcase with this indicator involves exactly that. You wait for a change of character to happen, and then you enter your position on the break of structures that happen after the change of character. So like here, this is a bullish chalk or change of character, and this is a bullish BOS or break of structure. So we enter a long position. Then here, this is a bearish chalk and this is a bearish BOS. So we enter a short position. Now you may be thinking, and why is your stop loss so much bigger than your take profit? You may also be thinking, what is the name of that indicator that you're using to identify those entries? Well, stay tuned because those are the questions that we're gonna answer in this video. So let's get into it. The indicator that we used for those entries is called Smart Money Breakouts or SMB for short. To add it to your chart, you're gonna open the indicator search tab on Trading View, then type in Smart Money Breakouts and it's gonna be this one by Chart Prime. The Smart Money Breakouts indicator is a tool designed to identify breakouts based on changes in character or chalk, as well as breaks of structure, also known as BOS. This tool incorporates user-defined take profit levels, which can be helpful in automated backtesting. Now, in order to explain this indicator's components, we need to separate it into two sides, bullish and bearish. On the bullish side, we have the bullish change of character label, and then we have a bullish BOS label. This green upward arrow is a confirmation that the price has broken and closed above the most recent swing high. So instead of looking for the break of structure yourself, you just wait for this upward arrow to be printed and then you enter your positions. Speaking of entering positions, these green background colors indicate open positions. Every time there is an entry due to a bullish break of structure or a bullish change of character, the background color turns to green. As soon as the entry hits either take profit or stop loss, the green background comes to an end and the chart defaults to its original background color. As you can see, whenever there is a long entry position, the indicator prints out the target, indicating the take profit for your position. For your backtesting convenience, a green target label indicates a profitable trade, while a red target label, like this one, indicates that the stop loss got hit. The number of winning and losing trades is also updated on this table right here. For the 15 minute time frame, this represents the number of winning trades and this represents the number of losing trades. Keep in mind that this data is based on a negative risk to reward ratio because after going back to the majority of these trades, I realized that while the target is labeled on the chart, the stop losses are not labeled on the charts. But based on my estimation, for every position, the stop losses happen to be wider than the take profit. Just something you should know. Now, another crucial element of this indicator is represented by these dots. These are the volume labels, distinguished by three colors green, orange, and red. On the bullish side, a red volume label indicates a higher probability of the trades hitting the stop loss. This indicates insufficient volume in the market to push the price in the direction of our trade. Conversely, a green volume label like this one signals a higher probability of the trade hitting the take profit. This implies significantly large volume in the market pushing the price in the direction of our trade. A yellow volume label, like this one, indicates inconclusive volume, suggesting that we shouldn't enter any long or short positions. And of course, the showcased elements on the bullish side of this indicator are gonna be mirrored on the bearish side, and we're gonna go over that in a bit. But before we do that, let's talk about Henker Trade. Now, you may be thinking, and what exactly is Henker Trade? Henker Trade is one of the most reliable forex brokers out there. And for that reason, I use them every single day. As you can see here, this is my trading history. I mainly trade gold. And up here you can see that this is actually a live account. The reason why I love Henko Trade so much is because of their extremely low commissions and spreads. On Forex, for example, the spreads can go as low as 0.0, .0 pips, which is actually the lowest they can go. For those of you who love high leverage, Henko Trade offers a maximum leverage of 1 to 500. If all of that isn't enough, they're also gonna give you a 100% bonus for all your deposits up to $25,000.
So if you deposit, say, $500, they're going to give you a bonus of $500. So now you'll have a total of $1,000 to trade with. To access the bonus, as well as all the other perks, sign up to Henko Trade using the link in the video description. Now, back to the video. Now, we were talking about how this indicator's components are the same on the bearish side, but in reverse. So for example, here, there is a bearish change of character, a bearish break of structure label, and red downward arrows indicating potential entry points. The background color turns to red whenever there is a bearish trade in the market and each entry position has an accompanying target label. A green target indicates that the trade did hit take profit, while a red target indicates that the stop loss was hit. The number of losing and winning trades is also tracked and recorded in this table right here. Volume labels represented by the dots follow a similar logic. In a bearish trend, a red volume label signifies enough bearish volume in the market, suggesting favorable trade conditions. Conversely, a green volume label indicates insufficient bearish volume and a yellow label represents inconclusive volume in the market. Although trades can still be taken with the yellow labels, the overall win rate might be lower. Looking at the settings of this indicator, we can see very few customizable options. Length refers to the number of candles that this indicator is going to use to calculate the swing highs and the swing lows used for determining the change of characters and the break of structures. The type indicates whether you want the indicator to use the wicks or the body of the candles to identify the swing highs and the swing lows, as well as to identify the breaks of structure and the changes in character. The target is basically the ATR multiplier that this tool is going to use for the take profit. Then here you have the option to change the line style as well as the colors. In the style tab, we can customize the colors of things like the bar colors, the plot candle, the background colors, etc. For me, the only thing I'm going to change is the type. You want to make sure that body is selected because it's going to increase the win rate of these trades immensely. After that, click OK. Now, the way we're going to use this indicator to trade is as shown in the beginning of this video. We want to identify a change of character and then we enter our positions on the break of structure. But of course, we need to ensure that we're always going to be trading in the direction of the overall trend. Aside from that, we also want to make sure that the volume is high enough to push the price in the direction of our trades. For the volume, we're going to be using these dots. If it's a long position, we want to make sure that the dot is colored green. If it's a bearish position, the dots should be colored red. For trend identification, let's add an indicator called EMA. This one right here. Double click on it and change the length to 150. In the style tab, change the color to a brighter one to make it more visible. After that, click OK. Now, to enter a long position, these are the conditions. First, the price should print a bullish change of character or chalk, which is this one right here. After we have the chalk, we start looking for bullish break of structures or BOS. Right here we have this bullish BOS, but we're not going to be using it because the volume label is colored yellow. But for this one right here, it's valid. So we're going to focus on this because as you can see, the volume label is colored green. A green volume label indicates that the bullish volume in the market is high enough to push the price in the direction of our trade. The last condition is to ensure that the breakout candle, which is this candle right here, should open and close above this white moving average to indicate that the market is in an overall bullish trend. After all the conditions are met, we enter a long position. The stop loss is going to go at the lowest point established during the break of structure, which is this point right here. To determine the lowest point, you just mark your chart from the swing high to the breakout candle. And then you take a look. Now, what is the lowest point from here to here? Well, it's this point. So our stop loss is going to go right here. This is going to immensely reduce the chances of the price hitting our stop losses. And for the take profit, we're going to use the target labeled by this indicator. As you can see, the risk to reward ratio is now negative. But based on my backtesting, over 85% of these trades tend to hit take profit, which overall results in a profitable trading system. We let this trade run and take profit. Now, here's another long example. As we can see here, we had a bullish BOS label. The volume label was also colored green. 
and then the breakout candle opened and closed above the white moving average. To enter a short position, these are the conditions. As we can see, we had a bearish BOS label and the volume label was colored red. And then the breakout candle opened and closed below the white moving average. The stop loss is going to go to the highest point established during the break of structure, which is this point right here. To determine the highest point, you just mark your chart from the swing low to the breakout candle. This is the highest point. For the take profit, we're going to use the target labeled by this indicator. We let the trade run and take profit. In summary, this indicator seems to offer a robust set of tools for traders looking to identify and capitalize on breakout opportunities. Incorporating volume analysis and adapting to varying market conditions is always crucial to the success of any trading system. Now remember, the strategy showcased here is not the holy grail and it's not even profitable in the long term, but it was just a guide to help you understand how this indicator can be used in your own trading system. That's been it for this video. I hope you found some value. If you did, hit the like button below and consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you next time.